recently in the last 112 days what we noticed and when I say 112 days it is starting from 7th of October 2023 most of us know about the attack of Israel on Palestine on Gaza and we know that for the last 112 days more than 25,000 Palestinians in Gaza have been killed out of which more than two-thirds were women and children more than two-thirds more than 67 percent were women and children innocent people but it's the first time in the history of the world there is a genocide going on and that genocide is being telecast live on the social media there are many genocides done before many we know it but this is the first time in the history of humankind the people that on whom genocide is being done they are telecasting its life because today the world has become a global village you see on the whatsapp on the facebook on the instagram on twitter live telecast of innocent women children men being killed more than 25,000 in the last 112 days from 7th october to the 27th October 2023 to the 27th of January 2024 and when we see the statements and we hear the statement a heart cries and they are an example today that imagine a child who is more injured than the father that child is telling the father father don't worry Allah is with us imagine the child who is more injured than the father is telling father don't worry Allah is with us the mother who is there after two or three children have been martyred she's thanking Allah that good you have martyred my children have become martyrs why didn't you take me also see the taqwa you find on these live telecast the Palestinians of Gaza the way they are thanking Allah, it is not imaginable for a person who does not know Tawheed. That's the reason when thousands and millions of non-Muslims, when they are watching this, they are asking, what type of faith is this? The house is being destroyed? They are thanking Allah. The limb is being cut? They are thanking Allah. They are on the deathbed? They are thanking Allah. People are being martyred, being killed. Their relatives are thanking Allah. What type of belief is this? What type of Iman is this? Most of the human beings will complain to Allah. They are thanking Allah. Only reason is because of Tawheed. They know that this life is a test for the hereafter. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allah di khalaq al mawta wal hayata. It is Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. So when death approaches, they are not afraid. Only person who cannot be afraid of death is a person who is afraid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If a person who is afraid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will not be afraid of anything else. Ibn Qayyum, may Allah have mercy on him. He said, if a person who fears Allah, he will not fear anything else. A person who does not fear Allah, he will fear anything and everything. If you don't fear Allah, you may fear of poverty, you may fear of life, you may fear of death, you may fear of this, you may fear of anything and everything. But if you fear Allah alone, alone is important. Now, if you fear Allah and something else, then it is partnership. So if you fear Allah alone, you will not fear anything. It's not haram to fear of flood or earthquake, it's not haram. But if you fear Allah alone, all these calamities, you will never be afraid of you'll only say alhamdulillah a true moment if some prophet takes place in his business he says alhamdulillah if some loss takes place he says alhamdulillah prophet thanking allah loss thank allah only 10 percent loss it could be more so when you see these palestinians the people of gaza they fill our heart with tears and believe me in this test Allah is testing the full Muslim Ummah, the Palestinians, especially of Gaza. They are doing Fard Kafaya. They are protecting the third holiest site in Islam, Masjid Aqsa. They are doing Fard Kafaya. If they would not have been there, it would have been Fard on us to go there. They are doing Fard Kafaya 
and the most powerful country in the world USA is supporting them with the best fighters and iron dome everything and yet they are fearlessly fighting them why why they have money they have power they have Allah this is the implication of Tawheed. Life example, we hear in the stories, you know, Sahaba, etc. Yes, Alhamdulillah, highest level. But now Allah is giving us an example in the people of Gaza. The Muslims of Gaza, most of them, almost all, if not everyone. They are giving us an example of what Tawheed is. What is its implication? We are living in air condition, mashallah. If the air condition goes off, then we start sweating and we start complaining. The houses have been destroyed. One million people have been displaced. What is the result? Someone asked me a question. I have a session every fortnight. Ask Dr. Zakir. That why is Allah not helping the Palestinians to win the war against Israel? The answer is long. I'll just give a shot. For Allah to make them win, easy kun fayakun. Allah is testing them. These Palestinians, more, almost all of them are passing with flying colors. Allah is testing us. What are we doing? What are we doing? It's a shame on the Muslim Ummah. When they're killing innocent people, breaking all international laws of war crime. Nothing. Little protest here and there, that's it. Will we pass the test? You have to answer yourself. On the day of judgment, when Allah will ask you, what have you done? What have I done? The Palestinians of Gaza, they have passed the test with flying colors. What about us? It's an introspection. So the higher level of Tawheed you have. Oh, if I support Palestinian, my Facebook will be stopped. My YouTube will be stopped. And there are, according to me, if 25,000 Palestinians have died, more than 25,000 non-Muslims all over the world have accepted Islam only because of watching the clips of Palestine, of Gaza. Those Westerner non-Muslim, they are thinking, what is the Iman they have? I want to have that faith. What type of religion they are following? Who is this Allah? Which book are they following? They are starting in the Quran. In less than three months, more than 25, I am saying more than 25,000 for safety because I am a man of figures. It may be much higher, much higher. According to the President of the European Council, only in France alone, in the first two months, 20,000 accepted Islam. I am not quoting him because I cannot verify statements, so I don't quote it. But I know being a man of media. And if more than a million people have been displaced in Gaza, more than two million lives have been affected in Gaza, do you know tens of millions of non-Muslims have started supporting Palestine, have come closer to Islam because of the Palestinians? Never in the history of humanity has it happened that millions of non-Muslims in Western countries, in America, in Europe, all over the world, non-Muslims coming out in protest, supporting Palestine, the Palestinians. Allah's plan. So this is the implication of Tawheed. If you have faith in Allah, if you believe in Tawheed, whatever come, you say Alhamdulillah. A person on Tawheed can never be disappointed. Happiness is a state of mind. He's always happy, always thankful.